Good morning. Uh, in continuation of the session 9, we have discussed about the derising uh, Bragg's equation, which is used to determine the structure of the crystal by x ray diffraction. So, today we will be employing this Bragg's equation to solve the problems. So, the first problem here is calculate the angle at which first and second order deflections occur from a crystal when x rays are taken. 1.5 angstrom units are used and interplanar distance is 4 angstrom units. So, in order to solve this problem, we have to consider that situation which is n lambda is equal to 2 b sin theta, where n is a part of reflection, lambda is the length of x rays used, and d is an interplanar distance, and theta is the glancing angle or the angle at which the x ray is instead of striking the Crystal surface. So, this is a back equation. And what we are asked to calculate is that we calculate theta, the angles at which first and second order reflections happen. So, we have to calculate angle theta for first order reflection as well as for second order reflection. So, for first order reflection, n is equal to 1. Therefore, we have to calculate sin theta is equal to n lambda over 2d. So, n is 1, lambda is 1.5 of angstrom units. 2, and in the plane of distance is 4 angstrom units. So, we have 1.5 over 8 which is equal to 0.187. So, sin theta is a 0.1875. So, this implies theta is equal to sin inverse 0.1875. So, this gives you value of 10.81. So, this is how we can calculate the angle or glancing angle or angle of instance from the data region. Similarly, by making a small change, that is n is equal to 2. Similarly, calculate this glancing angle theta from n is equal to 2. So, only the change that we make is 2 here. So, 1.45 by 4 is a point 375 and theta is sine inverse of point 375 degrees. Sorry. And this comes to 22.02 .02 degrees. So, this is how we can calculate the angle theta from the data region. Similarly, we can also calculate by changing this data. I change this data to 100 picometers instead of for angstrom units. One angstrom unit is 10 to the power minus 10 meters. And now I change it to picometers. One picometer is 10 to the power minus 12 meters. And the interplanar distance is 500 picometers. The problem is same, only the data is changed. So now let us substitute. Again, since our aim is to calculate theta, again we consider Bragg's equation. And uh, for first order reflection, we have sin theta is equal to n lambda is equal to 2d. So n is 1, lambda is uh, 100 picometers. 2 and uh, interplanar distance is 500 picometers. So, if you simplify this 100 divided by 1000, that is 0 0.1. So, theta is the sine inverse 0.1 that comes to 5.74 degrees. So, similarly, by making the chi in the values, we can calculate theta for second order reflection. Now, 100 divided by 500. 
so that becomes a point two. So sine inverse of theta is equal to inverse point two. That comes to eleven point five four degrees. This is how we can calculate theta. Now see, so using same equation, let's try to calculate the interplanar distance. So I just change the beta and show you how to calculate d that is interplanar distance so problem 3 calculate d from the following data theta is 30 degrees lambda Wavelength of x is 20 kilometers. Order of reflection is 1. Very simple. Okay. So, in order to calculate interplanar distance, we will consider Black's equation. Since we have to calculate d, so expression for d would be that lambda over 2 sin theta. And L is 1, lambda is 200 picometers, and theta is 30. So we know 200 divided by 2 into sin 30 is half. So wavelength of uh, x rays is also equal to interplanar distance. So this is how you can just change the data and calculate other parameters. Similarly, you can calculate well so this distance structure can also be used to determine wavelength of x rays also. So data is theta is a degree degrees Interplanar distance is 150 kilometers and n is 2. So now theta is given, interplanar distance is given, order of reflection is given. Only thing is we have to calculate the lambda. So we are using the Black's equation, we have a lambda is equal to 2d sin theta by n. Yeah. So, 2 into d is 150 picometers, theta is 20 degrees, sin 20, therefore n is the second order. So, we have 2 into 150 into sin 20 is 0 0.342, and if we simplify this, it comes to 51.3 picometers. So, who could get sense that? Sorry. So, we have 150 to 0.342. So, 51.3 picometers. So, these are simple problems will be asked based on Bragg's equation. We will stop here and continue in the next class. Thank you.